Hi everybody, my name is Sayyad and in this video I want to show you how to configure Telnet server in Windows 7. So you go to control panel, program and features, turn on the features, turn on and off the features and then select Telnet server, Telnet server, click OK. Then it will take several minutes to install the Telnet server. And after completion of Telnet server service, you have to go to services. It will take several minutes to install. Then you have to go to run services.msc and you have to turn on the service. By default, it will be turned off so uh, disable default it's disable and turn off so you have to enable the service and turn on the service automatically and then this is telnet service which is very important telnet use port number 23 apply start the service click ok then the service is started refresh the service and the one more very important thing is that you have to create a user for telnet just go to manage here in manage user and groups user and groups select user and groups users and create a new user for telnet just i am creating here my name sayed khusroke ussro and then keep any password then you do not change the password password never expire then create the user is created then you had to add this user to the group telnet group go to add advance and the default group is there telnet client go down and you can see telnet clients go ok ok then this will this uh, Sayyad Khusro is added as a client refresh and close and you can go to the client computer cmd ok telnet and give the server ip address 192.168.1.71 from the client pc you had to connect it to the server and Sayyad telnet username is Sayyad Khusro and the password give the password now you can enter you can get the complete drive c drive and d drive from the server see here you can get all the information from the server thank you for watching my video